Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on Fjorder. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have finally found our level 150 male Rex. I uh, just came upon him right now. So, um, I think what we'll do is we'll build the, the usual trap and lure him in. I don't know, can we use um, a net... On a Rex, let's take a look here. No. Okay, I wouldn't have expected that we could do that. But we know for sure that we can't. Um, just looking to see if there are any other seriously dangerous critters around. Well, there's another Rex there, but that one's dead. And some aloes. 130. Yeah, these guys could... Cause a problem. Let's get rid of them. Not too worried about these guys over here. Where'd the Rex go? Oh, he's way over here now. Yeah, why don't we... Let's build the cage right about here. I just don't want him to come over here while we're building it is all. So let's build it over here. Okay, you stay put. And let's get into this view that should be good there that should be good there and good there okay um gates we want these gates to open at all because we'll just fly out the top They can auto close, that's fine too. Okay, so we'll just come in here. Open the door, wrong way, try that again. And then we can just slide right on out the top while the Rex gets trapped. Okay, let's do this. Where'd he go? He's over here. messing with an Ankleo. I like the colors on him. Dark green and kind of grayish blackish. Alright, dude. You gots to come after us. Don't go messing with these stegos. They'll hurt you. me bro now he's got to go after that one ow gonna eat that one and he'll probably come over here and eat this anky Nope, he's going after the... whatever the hell those things are called. Oh, he's dead. Okay, come after me. Come get your Anki. There you go. 
Gonna go after this Tyranidon next, probably. Okay, come eat me. We have captured a max level male rex, and we already have a max level female rex that we have tamed. So uh, let's see, let me look at Dota Dex again, and he's ready to eat me. Let's go up to here, 150 rex is going to take uh, 27 darts. From my gun and I guess it says the Rex doesn't have a headshot multiplier. I always thought it did, but apparently not. Okay, so according to Dota Dex, 27 is the number here. You're on passive. So let's see. It's probably it usually takes a couple more than 27. Or you know, than what Dota Dex says, but. We should be good here. And he's down. Okay, so that took about 30. We started with 82, about 29, yeah. About 29 darts, so that was pretty darn close. All right, very good. It'll only take five exceptional kibble to tame this Rex. We will put six on, and now let's just, oh, and Sanguine Elixir, if it'll work this time. Uh, last time I tried to use this, it didn't seem to work, I don't know why. So, look at him, drink this. There, it worked that time. Maybe it doesn't work for Quetzals for some reason, I don't know. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, do a quick flyby and make sure there's nothing around that could potentially damage this guy. I'm not too worried about the Stego or the Trike. As long as they stay far enough away, we should be fine. There's Beaver Dam. Let's not mess with anything right now, though, until this guy stands up. Don't want any angry beavers after me. An alpha way over that way. But everything else in the area seems to be herbivores for the moment, so let's uh, fly up here and see what's going on. Did you just drop an egg? No, he dropped a deuce. <laughs> okay. You know what? You're getting a little too close for comfort. I think we better get you out of here. Come over this way. Do not hit my Rex. Okay. All right, let's go over and deal with this Alpha. Because, uh... They move fast, it's always possible they could come over this way. The Lady Five Alpha. Well, that's some, a nice pick. We'll take these items. I don't. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave that bow. I've got. I mean, I've got an ascendant bow here. Get out of here. Okay, let's drop this and this and that. Oh, we got a level. 
Um, what have I been doing for you? I think I've been actually doing speed. Let's actually put a point in weight, though. That'll help. Hey, our Rex is up. <laughs> All right, nice. Very nice. Perfect tame Rex, you guys. Beautiful. Look at you. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's cryo this guy up. And then the cryopod will show the stats. That's right, he didn't uh, he didn't eat all that kibble either, which is good. Very good indeed. Okay. Put that back in there. So here are the stats. Has uh, 7,700 health and 296 melee. We don't care about anything else. Okay, we'll have to compare that to our female Rex because I don't remember exactly uh, what she had. But it doesn't matter because they're both perfect teams, Rexes, so we're going to use them to breed regardless. Um, let's put this on and we'll pull down our trap here. Okay, nice. All right, well, let's head on back to the base. And what we'll do is... Pull out our, our female Rex and get these guys doing the naughty naughty. And get started with our Rex breeding program. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Mama Rex out of here. And uh, I think I'm going to pick up the refrigerator that I have in the barn. And bring it over here because I'm pretty much out of space in this fridge. Got like one slot there. Uh, oh, excuse me, guys. It's late. After we get these this Rex sex <laughs> started, I'm going to bed. Um, and I'll finish recording the rest of this episode tomorrow. But let's get the Rex sex going. So we want to... Um, let's see. Let's grab this. Uh, actually, I need to... I want to record these stats real quick. I've got a spreadsheet that I started here. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so Mama Rex is quite a bit stronger than Daddy Rex is, so hopefully our babies will inherit her stats. Um, I'm probably... See, we're going to keep the theories over there. Maybe we'll put the Rexes over here, but I'm going to uh, move them closer to the barn for now. Okay, so I'm going to rename you to Mother One and you to Father One. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, um, as you can see, Mother One's stats, um, the only two we really care about are health. So she has 9,000 health. And 354 melee damage compared to 7,700 health and 296 melee damage. Um, and Mother Rex has uh, even more stamina too, which is the other thing we would potentially care about if we're, you know, riding the Rex ourselves. So let's see what's yeah movement speed's just one hundred on that one too. Okay, so yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully the the baby the first baby will have um, mom's damage and health. So here we go. Let's go and go to behavior and enable mating for you, and we'll go behavior enable mating for you. There they go. They're doing the thing. And that's turned up so high. <laughs> Look how fast that's going. Uh, so we'll take and put that egg inside of the incubator when it's ready. 
Um, what are you guys set to, by the way? Let's just set you to at least neutral. Um, behavior. We can still occasionally get Argentavis fly into the pin here, so. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got going on here. So we've got... Oh! Yeah, see this, uh... This shows us their stats here. But I don't know how 36 translates to health. I'm gonna have to look that up. We, we can tell, though, that this one's got higher health than this one. And this one's damage is 36 versus 28. All right, so this, yeah, level 225. So the level 225 Therizino, which I think is this one is potentially going to be a good one. So let's hatch that one. All right, and then let's look at your stats. Okay, so you still don't have your mom and dad's health of 92. Uh, or their damage of 436. Okay. Uh, we know this one is definitely in inferior because it had even lower numbers. Uh, let's go behavior. Follow me. Where'd you go? Oh. We'll probably keep her for eggs, but I'm probably not going to keep any more for eggs. From now on, we're just going to call them unless they're, they're better than their parents. Um, let's see. Behavior... Put you on passive. Okay, so this one, um, let me look one last time. Yeah, see, they have the lower health and the lower damage, so let's just, can I pull that out of there? See, it's kind of too bad it doesn't let you take it back out because then you could use it to make kibble, you know? What if I did this? Nope, I guess once it's in there, it's in there. All right, that sucks. Um, yeah, so we're just going to destroy this one then. There it goes. Yeah, it's too bad they don't let you take it back out, but it is what it is. Okay, so... Um, your egg was probably just picked up. Okay, all these Denonicus eggs I'm just going to use for kibble. Uh, but let's grab the Rex egg and these two Therry eggs. Okay, so we're going to get a female Rex. Um... And again, I don't know what 36 means compared to the actual health of the Mother Rex that we currently have. Oh, it even tells you if there's mutations. That's kind of cool. So that's a 36 health and a 36 damage, and this is a 36 health and a 36 damage. All right. Well, all right, guys. What I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to wrap up. Uh, or no, I'm not going to wrap up the episode. I'm going to cut the camera and go to bed because <laughs> I'm really tired. And then tomorrow when I get up, uh, well, at some point tomorrow anyways, um, I will. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll probably wait till this Rex is ready to hatch. And then I'll bring you back, guys back at that point And we'll see what we have and then go from there. All right. So see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is uh, the next day in uh, real life, and 
Uh, it's actually late in the day because I've spent um, quite a bit of time uh, since I left you yesterday. Oh, I'm trying to figure out the breathing thing. And so, long story short, I, I kind of reset my breeding program, at least with the Therizinos. Uh, I, I took some time and watched a couple videos and read an article or two on the breeding, and I was I was doing some things wrong um, and decided, well, I, I think I want to kind of, you know, reset with the Theras because um, I had misrecorded some things and wasn't quite sure what was accurate, what wasn't, that sort of thing. Um, so, basically... What we have is, I, I've determined that our original father is no longer viable for breeding uh, because the new father, Father 2 over here, has overall better stats than, uh, than that father does. Um, I put the original mother back in, uh, or back over here for, and, and put her back into the breeding too. Uh, because what I've done is I've created, well, I think I already told you guys this, but I have a spreadsheet. And basically the long and short of it is that we have uh, Mother 1 and Father 2 currently. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the best stats from both of them onto a baby. And that has not happened yet. Now we had, um, we have these two uh, Theras that came out as twins. And they are better than Mother 1 because they have all of the stats I'm looking for except for the health. But Father 2, who I'm using, has the health, um, but missing some of the other stats. So when these two mature, I'll, I'll take Mother 1 out of the mix because she has two bad stats, or two lesser stats, I should say, and then use these two with Father 2 until eventually we get a baby that has all of the best stats on it. And then that baby will become, you know, the next breeder. Well, we need a male and a female, right? Um, and once once we get a male and a female that has all of the best stats, then that becomes our, what you might call our base pair, because we're kind of in the preliminary stages of this, how this works. Now, there's different ways that breeding can happen. I'm not going to get into all of that right now just because of the fact that I'm still trying to wrap my head back around it myself, and I haven't been in this game for over two and a half years, and a few things have changed. But the but the long and short of it is, you know, you take your first two initial tames, and you want to breed babies that have all of uh, the best stats of both of those parents combined. And then once that happens, then that becomes your base breeding pair. And then from there, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get uh, mutations, and the mutations will change the color, but will also increase the stats by um, either by two points. Um, and sometimes you, you get a double mutation and it's even possible to get a triple mutation, though it's extremely rare. Okay, so um, as far as the, the points that I was talking about earlier, I think I was talking about them earlier, the points that you see on an egg, in fact, we just, we just got a new Rex egg here. Let's just pick that straight up and put it into the incubator. So when we put that in that, and then we look at the points, um, so the 36 points and all that sort of thing, um, that, if you take all of those points and add them up, it becomes the Rex's level. So all those, you know, the 36s and 35, 39, 30, 33, et cetera, et cetera. If you add all of those up, it becomes the, um, it, it totals 243, which is the Rex's level. Uh, but those numbers are still useful to us because, again, the higher they are, that means the better that particular stat is, even though it doesn't translate into the actual, you know, damage or weight or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this Rex egg is I'm going to switch over to my Rex spreadsheet. And we're going to look at this egg. And so this is a female, and she has good health. Hold on a second. If we keep her, she's going to be called Mother 3. So let me put that in here. I'm also, I've also been recording the IDs of the dinos, but that's mostly because I kept changing the name and I couldn't remember who the hell's who, and I'm not going to be, you know, we got to give it a name and that name's got to stick, uh, at least while it's in the breeding, you know, the breeding program itself. 
Uh, and the other mistake that I made and completely forgot about is some of the stats that I was writing down were after imprinting had already started. And imprinting does not count for breeding stats. Um, so, you know, if, 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 if a dino is imprinted and it increases its health, that increase from the imprinting does not count towards any offspring. So you don't want to count imprints. And I was doing that because I forgot about it. So that's part, partly why I kind of screwed things up and needed to start over here. All right, so anyway, let's look at this. Um, I'm going to tab out here. So Mother 3 has 30, uh, 36 points in health, which is good because that's the highest that we have so far. That equates to 9,020 health. Uh, she has her stamina 35, which is good. That's the highest stamina stat that we have so far. That, that equates to 1,890. Now, uh, I know the stamina and the weight, those two in particular, don't matter for Rexes. However, um, they do matter. What They do matter if you're going to ride the Rex, especially the stamina. So I figured, well, what the hell? Let's just get the best stats on all of those things before we actually, you know, uh, you know, t t for our initial breeding pair. I'm, I don't have to do it that way. I'm just doing it that way because the hell, because I want to. Okay. Anyway, so... Uh, the weight stat is 36. Oh, she's got a mutation. Look at that. She got a weight mutation. How about that, huh? Yeah, because see, because our highest stat uh, up until now has been 34. So when I saw that, I'm going, wait a minute. So, so this is an example of a mutation where uh, now we have a, a stat of 36. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to record that, and I'm going to give it like a little bit of a different color in my sheet here so I, I remember that that's a mutation. And I so I don't know what the actual weight's going to be. It's going to be more than 840 because that's what 34 is. So, you know, we won't be able to tell that until the egg actually hatches because it doesn't tell you what the how that trans you know translates into value in fact i think we might be able to figure that out on dota decks but anyway uh the damage is 39 which is good because that's our highest damage stat so this this female rex here is is definitely our best rex because it's got all of our best stats and it has a mutation on top of that um now there's there's some kind of thingamadoodle going on with mutations where you you don't want the females to have mutations, you only want the males to have them. Um. So based upon that, I, I'm gonna have to do some more research on that because I'm not exactly sure how that works. But based upon that, we might actually not want to be using this female. Um, which is kind of sucks. It's too bad uh, that she didn't get that. Uh, it's too bad she didn't just get the 34 because that's exactly what I needed. But, you know, if it doesn't work the first time or the second time or the 10th time, you keep trying, right? That's just the way it goes. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that because, again, it has to do with the way mutations work. Basically, from what I understand, is that a, a dinosaur can only have up to 20 mutations. So if, a, so if a parent has a mutation and then it has another baby, that mutation counts uh, towards that baby and you can only do that up to 20 times and it's even it's it's even not that simple it's a uh, there it's a little more complicated than even that but that's the general idea um and so the what you want to do is you want all of your female dinos to have no mutations and all your and your male breeder to have the mutations because that way there you can go beyond the the cap of 20 if you do it that way I can't explain that in any more detail right now because here again, I'm still trying to wrap my own brain around it. But I think what that means in, you know, when it's all said and done is that we really probably don't want to use uh, this Rex as our base breeder, which kind of sucks. Um, it's, but you know, it is what it is. Or maybe I will anyway. Well, see, the thing is though, is for a Rex is if that mutation was on health or melee, I might do it anyway. But since it's on weight, it's just not worth it. Um, so, okay. Well, that being the case, I think, I think I'm going to keep this one anyways until I know for sure that that's what I need to do. 
because otherwise she is by far our best Rex. Um, she's got all the best stats plus a mutation. Uh, so we're going to keep her anyways. And um, yeah, okay. So let's close this. Now, um, this dino, uh, this Rex here is Mother 2. And Mother 2 is... I'm trying to see here. Mother 2 is actually not as good as Mother 1 because Mother 1... Low stat is in weight, whereas this dino's low stat is in damage, which isn't good. But what I, but I still, I'm still going to hang on to her for now because I can still breed her with Father Two, who has a good damage stat, but a low health stat. So the the idea, this is Father Two, by the way. So the idea is that it's possible that he could pass on his good health stat to their baby and she could pass on her good damage stat to the baby kind of thing. Uh, so we're, so we're going to hang on to these two and I'm, I'm being much more careful now about recording their points and their stats early, you know, before Im imprinting and all that sort of thing starts. Okay. So anyway, um, I've also, we also have a Quetz baby here and she's the only, I think, yeah, she's the only baby. We've had a couple other Quetz babies, but they their stats weren't as good. So this this Quetz has three of the four good stats, whereas the original mother, Q-Ball, only had two of the four. So she will replace Q-Ball as the breeding mother once she matures. All right, let's go take a look in here and see if there's any more fertilized eggs. Yeah, we got a new fertilized Quetz egg, so let's check this one out and compare it to what we currently have. So it's kind of cool that we got that mutation, even though it wasn't ideal that we got it on that particular one. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, so this female Quetz is 14, which is good. It's the best stat we have so far. Her stamina is 12, which is good. Her weight is nine, which is not good. Her melee is 13, which is is good. Okay, so sh so basically her stat, her bad stat is weight, which for a Quetz is not good because you want Quetzes to have weight. So if we kept her, uh, she would be bad in weight but good in damage, whereas Mother 2, which is the other little Quetz that we're raising, is bad in damage but good in weight. Um, the thing is, though, is that our male Quetz is also bad in weight. So basically, this female's stats are exactly the same as the dad's, which means that if I breed them together, there's no way we could get the better weight stat. So that essentially means that this, you know, for the purpose of establishing a base pair with all the best stats, that means this egg we can't use. Unless we... You know, unless we hatched it and just let it sit until we got a, another male. But I don't think that's the way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this egg. So again, I'm still trying to figure this out. It's, it's very, well, I don't know if I'd say it's very complicated, but it is somewhat complicated, the breeding in this in art. Plus the fact that, again, they've changed a few things since the last, I was last into it. So I'll figure it out. I'll do some more reading, watch some more YouTube videos, and, and we'll figure it out. The other thing, too, is... It isn't my intention to have a pristine breeding program where we do everything exactly right or min-max it. Uh, I want to take advantage of it and do it somewhat right, but it's not its not absolutely essential that we do it perfectly either. Um, I just want to have fun with it. The last thing I want to say, too, is that I think I'm going to start grabbing, you know, 130 or higher UDs. I've been killing the 135s, but the thing is, is you can... You can get a 135 Uni in the wild that has a better damage stat than a 150. So, um, so, I, so now you know I'm going to kind of lower the bar on that. I guess is what I'm trying to say to 130, and uh, start picking those ones up so we can get started with the Uni's as well. All right, guys. So um, that's going to wrap up this episode here. The plan for the next episode, I think, is we're going to go ahead and check out the uh, the other 
uh, realms on this map. We we haven't really left, you know, Fjorder itself. There's some other realms, so I want to go visit those, check that out, see what that's all about. And that is the plan uh, for the next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.